But really, the straight line drive going left is what he looks to do. And welcome everyone to a postseason, off-season edition of Cats Chats here on the WCC. Pleased to be joined by new USF head coach Todd Golden. Congratulations, Todd, on getting the gig. Uh, very familiar I... territory for you because you played in the WCC at St. Mary's. You've been an assistant at USF, and now you take over for Kyle Smith. Uh, let's first go through that process. Sure. When you found out that Kyle was going to go to Washington State, uh, at what point did you think, you know what, I got a really good shot to get this gig? You know, th- this is something uh, in a way that's been by design for a while. Uh, part of the reason why I left Auburn when I did to come back and work with Kyle was to give myself an opportunity to grow and learn more under him. And then the the conversation we always had was if we were able to do well enough to provide another opportunity for him, then I would be putting myself in a great position uh, to take over. So, uh, you know, you never know when that's happened. And obviously it happened a a little quicker than some might have thought, but it was something that I've been preparing for for a long time and I'm just incredibly excited about it. What is it that you really believe that you can do now to take USF to where you guys did take it, up to here, to take it to that next level and get into the NCAA tournament and be a consistent player right there with Gonzaga, with St. Mary's, maybe with BYU. To be honest, I think the hardest part has already been done and a lot of credit has to go to Kyle. The the foundation has been built. Uh, The the culture of this program is in great shape. I, I think one thing that goes a long way is all 10 scholarship players that we had returning, they're all coming back. So you can tell that it's healthy that way. We took some steps this past year. We went three and one against St. Mary's and BYU in conference play. And now the next step is going to be to be able to compete with those guys on a daily basis. And then we got to try to find a way to catch Gonzaga. There's going to be a new arena, obviously, for the sure. Warriors. Um, how much do you want to foster that to where maybe you play a game or two a season or have some sort of relationship where you can you know, use to your advantage having the Warriors in San Francisco and making that marriage to elevate USF. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, You know, we already have a really good relationship with a lot of the people in the Warriors. And the fact that they're coming across the Bay Bridge to play in the city is huge. I think it'll help us in recruiting. And uh, yeah, we'd love to play multiple games at the Chase Center. Just another opportunity for our guys to play in an NBA arena. So yeah, we'll definitely continue to foster that relationship and, and just try to use it to our advantage as well. Where does USF stand in trying to get in some of these higher profile non-conference tournaments or taking some home and homes or even going some one ways just to get your name out there, your brand, to elevate not just that, but obviously get a good chance to get into the tournament? We ended up with a net right around 70 last year, which in certain circumstances would qualify as a Q1, most Q2 game. And for those Power 5 conferences, th- those are the types of opponents that they want to play in those neutral non-conference games. So now that we're in that arena, we have to do a good job going out and getting those games. But those are the types of games that we need to get in the non-conference to really be able to build that resume uh, for when Selection Sunday comes around that our name is in serious uh, consideration. All right, last thing, Todd, uh, you know, Frankie Fer- uh, Ferrari was a phenomenal talent for you. You know, replacing a fixture if there's an identity with this group who's going to take it over you know we named a four player leadership team basically right when when i got the job you know my seniors jordan Rotino and jimbo lull i'm going to put a lot on those guys and then two guys that are juniors in my backcourt with jamari bouye and charles minlin i expect both those guys to continue having breakout seasons this coming year i don't expect us to take a step back i expect guys that have been in our program that have kind of learned what it takes to really have success at this level, to kind of take that responsibility and run with it. So we'll be a little different, but I'm really excited to coach this group that we have. Well, congratulations, Todd. I know we'll be talking to you a lot over the course of the next year. Andy, I appreciate you having me on. Thank you very much.